Hey, environmental science students, we're going to work on primary productivity problems. To think about net primary productivity, you can think about an actual net. That's how I think about it. So the gross primary productivity is what goes in. And this is everything that goes in. This is the total rate at which the photosynthesizers are producing energy in an ecosystem. But those plants, they have to use some of that energy for their own cells, and that's going to leave this net, and that's RL, respiration loss. So everything that's left in the net is our net primary productivity. That's left here in the net. Um, and that's what's available for consumers in the ecosystem. So for the first problems, you're going to put in the values in the boxes. So for this one, a coral reef has a gross primary productivity of 7,540 kilocalories per meter squared per year. We're gonna write that in the box. But 4,200 kilocalories per square meter is lost to respiration each year. So put that in the respiration lost. Determine all unknowns. So this one is the most straightforward to find NPP. It's the gross primary productivity minus the loss. So we're just gonna put in those numbers. Oops, put in too many things. And so that's 3,340 kilocalories per meter squared per year. And by the way, it might help to notice that this is an energy, an amount of energy per area per time. So as you go on, you won't see the three boxes. You'll just find the unknown. It might help to jot down the knowns and unknowns though. So in this problem, an estuary has 8,200 kilocalories per meter squared per year as the net primary productivity. The gross primary activity, so that's before the loss, is 9,710 kilocalories per square meter per year. What is the rate of energy lost to respiration? So we're gonna write down this formula again. And if I'm trying to solve for RL, the respiration loss, energy loss to respiration, um, I can add it to both sides of the equation to cancel it out over here and then subtract that net PP, net primary productivity to the other side. So I'll have here my loss, respiration loss is the gross primary productivity minus the net primary productivity. And so that will be 9,710 minus 8,200, which is just 1,510 kilocalories per meter squared per year. So let's put that in the box and I hope that helps.